Hey y'all, Irick Sky here. Now, as you know, I've always got a lot of new stuff coming to Irish Sky's Adventure Channel. Now, what I've done today is actually a big step forward, I hope. And what I've done, I've upgraded my studio equipment, and it's not here yet, but it will be. I'm still filming this, this video you're watching right now with the Canon XA10, but I'm going to upgrade to 4K. So I've got a, uh, a Sony, what is it, AX, is it AX100? Let me see. Yeah, it's the Sony FDR-AX100. So it's a 4K camcorder, and although it's not a prosumer grade camcorder, like this Canon XA10 that I'm using now, it does have a semi, well actually I guess it would be a proprietary type uh, mount on the top, but Sony has a, uh, they have a couple of mics, they've got a shotgun mic, and then they've got a, a dual, it's this funny looking mic and you can actually space out the two mics that are built into it, it's a stereo mic, and I've ordered that to go with the, uh, with the Sony AX100. So, before I get rid of this, before I sell this Canon XA10 that I'm using now, I first want to make sure that that the AX100 is capable of doing what I want to do. Now, one thing that did concern me, and I know that uh, several people pointed it out, is that the AX100 will only do 4K at 30 frames per second. But that's still the scenario with the current model uh, GoPro Hero 4 Black it'll do 4K at 30 frames per second. Now sure, if you want to speed up, slow down, retime videos, that, uh, that frame rate is, is not going to be optimal. But for product reviews, face on video like I am right here, and capturing really cool backdrops on the tripod, I think that the 4K is going to be a huge visual step forward. And a lot of people they say, well, why would you want to do 4K? Because nobody has a 4K TV. And that's actually very true. And that's actually the reason that I've been, uh, that, that I've been waiting. I've just been waiting for a semi-affordable 4K camera to, or 4K camcorder rather, to come out that will, uh, that will enable me to do what I need to do. And at least on paper, this Sony AX100 seems to fit the bill. So stay tuned. I'm going to have an unboxing video, obviously a ton of review videos. I'm going to start, if it, if it functions like I feel that it should, it's going to replace my, my Canon XA10 as my studio camera. So we'll see what happens. I'm excited. I'm excited to do the, uh, to do the 4K transition. And as many people have mentioned, hardly anybody has a 4K, and that's true. Very few, very few 4K TVs. But, what I want to do, not what I want to do, but what I will do, is capture an abundance of 4K content. And that's with the Hero 4 GoPro, the Hero 4 Black, as well as the Sony AX100 that's coming, because my goal, and it's always been here at Irish Guys Adventure Channel, is to continue to produce quality content. Quality content that you can't go anywhere else and find the exact same content. So that's, that's just a natural step forward transitioning from a HD, which is fine, to something twice as good, which is 4K, also known as Ultra HD. So I'm, I'm, I mean, I am super stoked to start playing around with the, uh, with the higher resolution. I'm, I'm excited for, uh, for the 4K TVs to go down so that in a year or so I'll be able to grab one of those. But in the interim, people that are watching this and Maybe you're watching this now on a 4K TV. Good for you. Because I've got a lot of 4K content coming. So people that have those 4K TVs already, the very early adopters of the 4Ks, remember when HD came out? One of the, chat, one of the most disappointing things is that you may have gotten an HD TV early on, but you turned on your TV, you didn't have, you didn't have HD broadcasting in your area. Or maybe you didn't have... Um, a, well, that was way before Blu-ray. Remember the HD DVD that was, that was a failed technology came out briefly? But see, that's the beauty of YouTube. 
because YouTube right now is a content delivery mechanism. So these people that do have 4K TVs, these people that do have the 5K iMac, when I release this content, by way of YouTube, people with a compatible with the compatible displays, they're going to be able to see this in its full glory. 4K. That's right, 4K, twice the resolution of 1920 by 1080, which is high definition, full HD. So I'm stoked, and I mean, I'm going into a, to a whole new playground now. One piece of technology, you're probably wondering why I had this Canon EOS around my neck. Something I intend to do is obviously continue to use this Canon EOS. Now, the beauty of it, even though it doesn't shoot 4K video, I can shoot ultra, ultra high resolution images and I can use those to create uh, 4K sets for my green screen studio, for my chroma key. And obviously as I, as I have time to do so, I'm going to uh, gonna capture an abundance of backdrops and, and other quality content with that Sony AX100 full motion video. But this will be a, this will be, I think my field bag, and it's, it's constantly changing because I'm trying to find the optimal set of gear to carry with me. So my field bag now, after I get the AX100, it's going to be my AX100 for face-on video type scenarios, for shooting an environment from a tripod type scenario. For action filming, it's obviously going to be GoPro Hero 4 Black on a chesty, a head strap mount, monopod, etc. And for still photos, it's going to be this uh, somewhat entry level Canon EOS Rebel T3i, also known as Canon EOS 600D. So I've got everything here except for the drone. And that's what I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for, and I know you can attach a GoPro Hero 4 Black to the current model, uh, to the current model Phantom 2, which is great. But I'm looking for that, uh, for that perfect aerial solution for filming 4K. So I'm waiting on something revolutionary to come out there. So with the GoPro, I've got C with my Canon EOS and my AX100 Sony. I've got land, and now all I need is air. So I can have land, sea, and air. Got to have all of those. Uh, Got to have all of those environments covered with 4K. So do you think I'm crazy going to 4K this early on? I think I am, but I think I'm doing it because I have a mission. A mission, as I previously mentioned, and that is being able to grace the internet with an abundance of more 4K content. I know there's a lot of, uh, of uh, like-minded content creators on YouTube that have already jumped, uh, jumped into the 4K wagon full speed ahead, maybe even several months ago maybe even a year ago, maybe more. But right now, I still consider myself to be an early adopter of 4K, but I think if, um, if, if us being content, as us as content creators, if we don't take the initiative and embrace this new technology, obviously I, I feel that uh, 4K will become the next step from high definition. I don't think it's something that, that they're playing with and they're like, well, no, we're just going to jump past 4K and go to whatever. I think that 4K, at least from a, uh, from a home television perspective, I think that's what we're going to see. We're going to see, we're going to see the, uh, the big satellite providers and the cable providers and, and all of those uh, content providers. I think we're going to start seeing them provide uh, video in 4K format as soon as the 4K TVs become more affordable. And they are coming down drastically in price, but they're not yet to the point to where, I mean, as we all know, you can go out and get a 1080p full HD TV for a few hundred bucks. I mean, they've, they've gone down drastically, and we're not, anywhere, we're not anywhere close to that point with 4K, but it will be nice to be able to have all this content created, have all of this content shared publicly by way of YouTube, so that when people get those 4K TVs, even if they don't even have... Uh, a 4K provider in their area, satellite, cable, whatever, at least they'll be able to go on to, uh, to YouTube and watch videos on youtube.com forward slash irixguy or other channels out there that post, uh, 
4K video content and really get a taste for what their, uh, what their new technology can do. So yeah, I'm gonna embrace it. I'm gonna embrace it, uh, embrace it like a wild animal. Grrr! And just really take advantage of this 4K video. So stay tuned for a lot of excitement. I know that I'll be learning a lot and I hope that my successes and failures somehow benefit you because ultimately with the new technology, probably not gonna be perfect, but it's gonna be fun to play with. So be sure to subscribe, stay tuned, youtube.com forward slash Irix guy. Thanks for watching and y'all have a good day.